Hello everybody, welcome to Short Shot Archery, Anthony here, and today I am reviewing the Shrewd Atlas, uh, well this is the double V-Bar, but they also make a single. Uh, I've been testing out the Shrewd Atlas double V-Bar now for uh, uh, quite some time, and I think I'm really ready to uh, share you know, what I've learned about it, uh, you know, the things I like about it, the things it does really well, and uh, then some critiques I have, and maybe some improvements and things that uh, Shrewd could do uh, with it in the future. So, first, uh, let's get into what does uh, this V-Bar do well. So first off, and, and probably the most important part, just in general, is how well does it lock? And after testing it, uh, this V-Bar locks uh, really well. Now, uh, the major benefit, I feel, is like the size of the bolts uh, they provide. Since these bolts are so big, uh, you can tighten them down uh, quite well, and you don't have to worry about stripping the heads out of them. Now, if you do lightly, very lightly tighten these, and you do bump into something, uh, they will probably move some on you. But then again, that will happen with any uh, set of adjustable V-bars. But because uh, this V-bar is so you know hefty and the bolts are so big, uh, you can put you can definitely put some some force into them. You can put a little bit of you can put some torque on them, and uh, they will not move. They will not move at all. And if you did watch uh, my testing video of this V-bar, uh, you can definitely tell uh, this held up to. Uh, 15 pounds without a problem and I could probably go further but it was getting ridiculous because I actually had to like hold it with my hand because things were falling over. Uh, there will also be links to uh, that video that I just talked about and uh, my initial uh, first thoughts and unboxing of this V-Bar because I did those two videos before the final review. So overall it just holds a lot of weight. Uh, you can definitely be confident that you could go and put, you know, 20 plus ounces, you know, worth of side stabilizer weight on here and not worry about it, it moving. I think it's going to be great for any recurve or compound shooter. Of course, most of the compound shooters are going to get uh, the single V-bar where you only see the one side. But still, this, this whole structure here and how it's designed, it just holds really well. Uh, and it does it without teeth. There's no teeth in this. Their clamping system, and I guess, and, and again, the size of the bolts, how they have that all engineered, uh, it just works really great. And uh, I don't know, without having teeth, it, it kind of frees up a lot of, you can really move it anywhere you want because it's set by you and not predetermined by the manufacturer and the size of teeth they're using. Next up, the anti-walkout washers. Uh, they see right in here uh, so well. Uh, they really designed that well and they really don't walk out. You can wiggle those uh, side uh, stabilizer bars all day long and they just don't come out. Um, it actually takes uh, some effort to actually take them out. You have to, you have to back them out pretty far in order to get uh, the quick disconnect to come off, uh, which, which I think is fine because I've had tons of issues in the past with other brands where they just, you know, the side stabilizers come loose and the next thing you know you shoot a shot and your your side V bars are you know your side bars are on the ground and that's because they work their way out of the quick disconnect. Uh, with this V bar, uh, that did not happen at all. I even tested it with a massive amount of weight on the end of a very long uh, <laughs> side bar to see if I can make it work its way out. Again, that was in the testing video. And that did not happen, and it hasn't happened the entire time of me shooting uh, this V-Bar, which is thousands of arrows and uh, a couple months now, actually. Uh, next up, and this is probably, it, it's, it's definitely in your top three of importance, uh, indicator lines. Uh, not something new for Shrewd, but uh, indicator lines have recently come to archery, but I feel like Shrewd's doing a really good job at, uh, you know, doing indicator lines. Uh, they have a great way of telling you where, you know, uh, horizontal is, where, where, where flat is, where level is, and then they have a nice range of marked indications on this V-bar to tell you 
you know, where you want to go. You know, do you want to go, you want to go wide, you want to go up, you want to go down, uh, a nice range. And of course, since this has no teeth or anything like that, you can go and bring them to any range of travel uh, you want and you don't have to worry about going, you know, off the reservation. The only thing you'll be missing is the indicator lines. But I really think they do supply a really nice range of lines for this V-Bar. I think uh, positions more extreme than what is indicated on uh, the Atlas here would probably be kind of ridiculous to bring to a tournament and they would be very, very unique. I don't, I don't see too many archers wanting to, you know, have their, their side stabilizers out like three feet. Besides, there's not that much space on the line to begin with. There's also not going to be too many archers that are going to have their sidebars like super far down or even in front. Uh, so you, you can do it with this, but it's, it's definitely not going to be within the indicator lines, which, which makes sense anyway, because that's going to be a very, 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 very small percentage of people that are going to try that, <laughs> if any. And next up is uh, the weight of the Atlas Double V-Bar. I find it to be surprisingly light for for how much or how much it can handle, how heavy it it looks heavy, it looks it looks hefty, it looks strong. And then you pick it up and I find it to be surprisingly light. Of course, you can get all the weight and stuff at uh, Shrewd's website. You can check them out. There'll be a link to their site so you can get pricing and where to pick up uh, this V bar at because they know they have distributors and things like that where you guys can pick it up or on their website and now into uh my critique uh of this uh v-bar itself it's held up pretty well overall um it definitely takes uh you know uh you know scratches and stuff it it, it holds them pretty well it gets some but that's to be expected normal wear and tear if you're if you're seeing this on some of the close-ups you know this this v-bar has been used it's been tested and i think that's how it, it should be but I feel like it has held up uh, pretty well. Of course, it's always nice to see uh, companies continuing to push how well their finishes hold up. Not too much of a critique, more of a side note. Uh, the main critique would be, uh, it would be cool to have them come out with a smaller version of the Atlas, like an Atlas Mini or something along those lines. Um, and maybe, maybe they would have to post how much weight it could handle I still think their design is really good, so just sizing it down, I think for the average recurve shooter and most, and maybe not even so much for compound, but if they made a if if they made a mini double V bar, I think that would be uh, really uh, an, it would be really flexible for a lot of of archers. Uh, some shooters found this to be uh, a little bit uh, wide. And they wanted something a little bit more compact. And of course, if you're going to go, you know, the, the width wise in, you might as well try to take the height in a little bit too. And maybe it won't hold, you know, the epic amount of, you know, 15 pounds. But if we, if they did make it smaller, even holding five pounds worth of weight is still an incredible amount. Nobody's going to run five pounds on each side of their side stabilizers. It'll hold up, and I think it'll even compete really well with uh, smaller V-bars on the market. I know I own a, uh, a, sh a fixed uh, shrewd V-bar where the position is set, you can't adjust anything, but the nice thing about it is it's super small. When I take it off, I can fit it into pockets anywhere. Um, if, I had, if I ran it where it was flush with my bow and I didn't have an extension, I could actually uh, leave it on my bow. So if they made a mini one of these, you could potentially leave it on your bow. Um, I think some ways they could make it smaller is I would just delete the uh, option for the wrist strap. I think it's a nice option for this big one since they have the space here. But uh, obviously for the small one, you want to make it as small as possible. I would delete that out. And then it would just be a matter of maybe just sizing down, uh, you know, the bolts where you wouldn't have, to, where they're big enough where you don't have to worry about people stripping the heads on them because people do get aggressive with tightening. But at the same point in time, you know, you're not going too light where they are stripping the heads and it can't take the weight. So I don't know, I, I, that, would, that would be my like major critique for uh, 
the Atlas V bar. Other than that, though, I've been really impressed with how well it's made and uh, just the things that came with it. They came with, with, with plenty of walkout washers and it was great the wrist strap was already included. They don't have to include that. Just nice that it's there. Uh, so you didn't really have to buy anything, you know, out of, out of your out of your way. I know some people made a comment that they wanted an eye bolt with it, but you should probably have one of those with you know your the rest of your stabilizer set up anyway. And if not, they're not that expensive uh, to buy. I know me personally, I have a whole bunch laying around, so that wasn't even a thought in my mind. But a couple of people felt that that should have came with uh, this kit here. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't think so personally. And uh, other V bars and stuff I've picked up uh, sold them separately as well. So I don't think it's too much of a big deal. So uh, that pretty much wraps up uh, my review of the Shrewd Atlas uh, V bar. It's a it's a fun time. Uh, it'll it'll definitely hold up your world. <laughs> All right. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Please check out Shrewd's site. Uh, check out my other videos about me, you know, testing this out and unboxing it and stuff when it was fresh and brand new before I, I used it so much. It takes a good, it takes a beating though. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching and as always, happy shooting.